guys, what is up? Chilling out at the old country store. Oh, I just wrapped up. Oh man, eight hours worth of work over here on this main property that I work at. One second, I gotta get me a swig. Oh, oh my goodness wrapped up eight hours worth of work I gotta go pick up a trailer it's my dump trailer that's rented out it's been on a geez, three day rental and then uh, I gotta go I gotta go dump this trailer after I pick it up and then I gotta run it over to a contractor the, the dude that helped me with uh, the beaver uh, beaver project and had the drain plugged up the culvert plugged up uh, Parker with uh, Do More Outdoors local contractor to me he gives me a lot of business a lot of business and he needs my trailer for he said one or two days hopefully it's two that'd be awesome so I gotta run it straight over to him Oh, for a couple of days and it is almost five o'clock I had to stop and grab me a Hunt's Brothers pizza grab me a pizza and I ain't gonna lie guys I got me a uh, I got me a cheeseburger too just because that sandwich that I ate at 10 long gone We are just trying to get on the road and get out of here to go pick up my trailer. Watching this intersection. Oh my goodness. Man, these trailer rentals, guys, they have boomed this week. They have come out of nowhere. I had one. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to count how many I've had had this week, or how many I've had within seven days. So I'm up to four different rentals, and two of them were multi-day rentals, and I've got another rental next weekend scheduled already. And businesses. Oh, it's a blessing. Man, I'm thankful for it. Then I got a uh, beaver job I'm supposed to start. Well, it's the, uh, the culvert job. I got to go put traps in there. Hopefully, going to do that Wednesday. I got a stump job I got to do. That's been confirmed. Don't know when I'm going to do it. Hopefully, I'd like to do it this week, but it's probably going to be next week. I got a customer who called me today for a price on some stumps. Got to go do that. I got to go give um, a price on two property cleanouts. So it's pretty much overgrown uh, yards. Uh, and, uh, yeah, overgrown yards that the customer is asking me to come price to get it all cleaned up, cut down everything. Bushes are overgrown, grass is terrible. <clears throat> he said that uh, I'm gonna need my tractor to even cut, cut the grass. So, I've never done any of those before, so we'll see how that goes. All I can do is take it one day at a time, guys. It's already kind of overwhelming, but beat shift work, beat shift work. I got a Cody job that I'm supposed to start. Actually, I had another person call me about a Cody job, and I told them I couldn't even get to them. I said, I'm already behind. Pretty much, I have like eight or a dozen jobs that I need to do. And 
eight out of the dozen required full day commitments. So I'm trying to do those with the main property that I help uh, or that I work on. It's a lot. <coughs> but me and old critter good here, we we putting in the miles. Putting in the miles. Hoping that um this dump. I'm hoping that this dump takes my takes the trash because I, I was getting some mixed reviews. So I'm not sure what what's going to happen, but it's five o'clock. They're supposed to stay open super late. So I hope I don't get over there and they turn me away because I've got to get this dump trailer. To this contractor tonight. Tonight, got to be there tonight. Um, that's two day rentals. Yeah, two day rentals. So two days. He's been there for two days, and uh, that, that's four hundred bucks right there. So I don't want to miss that. Um, so if I have to, if this dump don't take take the stuff that's in this trailer, it's gonna be in my front yard. It's gonna be in part of my yard somewhere. I won't get this guy this trailer. I ain't missing out on four hundred dollars. So that's what we got going on this afternoon. We got a bunch more coming up. Oh man, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh man, what y'all think about that um, delivery I made golf cart? That was my church. But they asked me if I would do that, so I delivered my church's golf cart to a campground where they have like revivals and stuff. So, that may be something I start offering. I'm not sure. We'll see. I had somebody else reach out to me also about delivering some stuff. So, there seems to be a market. But I definitely ain't trying to do cross country stuff or oversized loads or anything like that. I mean, just little stuff. Little stuff. Really, being, having so many different things, that's what's helping a lot. Well, once I get my name out there, I may be able to narrow down what I do and choose what I do. But really, doing so many different things, that's what's paying the bills right now, guys. I mean, stuff between land management, that's, that's my main job. Like I said, sometimes I only work like 24 hours a week there. So it's hard to call it my main job. But we'll just say my job. Um, so my main job, got that going on. Got the stump grinding. Got trailer rentals. Doing my own trapping. So that's four things. Um, overgrown yards. That may be a fifth thing. And then this delivery service stuff. That may turn into six things. It's kind of chaotic. But it's pretty cool whenever people start tagging you on Facebook about like, Joey Collins does that, Joey does that, Joey does that. Pretty cool to see your name pop up everywhere. And then that's really when the pressure's on because you got to do good work. I mean, just as quick as it spreads, if you start doing bad work, your name's going to spread even faster. So always be fair. Always do be fair with people. Try to work with people's schedules. Just be considerate of your fellow humans and your fellow neighbors really so we're gonna get on down the road and um pick up this trailer i may bring y'all back when i pick up the trailer i don't know i don't want to i try and be mindful of people's privacy in all my videos like i try not to show any houses of the properties that i work on or the properties that i trap i don't show any kind of uh markers, land markers, that identifying markers or anything like that. Definitely don't show the customer unless the customer don't mind it. Uh, one of my trapping jobs I do, customer didn't care, care at all. He, he didn't mind. He was taking videos for me. He sent me videos. So I thought that was kind of cool. But I always try and be uh, real private for people and considerate. And uh, I'm going to be in this person's backyard picking up this trailer. So I don't want to have my camera out there video in the backyard and video in them and everything if they're uncomfortable with that so i may not get 
get get that on camera, but I'd like to because it's kind of it's in a privacy fence inside a privacy fence, and it's going to be kind of weird getting it out. I had to pull them in and then back it, pull into the privacy fence, and then back it into a corner of their yard right beside their house. And I imagine I'm gonna to have to pull it out the same exact way. I'm probably gonna to have to uh, pull back into another spot and then back out the gate. That's probably what's gonna happen. We'll see. Anyways, if I can bring y'all back and show y'all that, I'll show y'all some clips of that. If not, I'll bring y'all back when I've got the trailer on the road. <coughs> Just got to the house. Got the gates open. He's in here. There she is. Looks good, so I'm going back into the trailer. And I'm going to have to pull forward and then back out of the gate just like I came in. I think that's going to be the best, best option. Man, I wish, 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 wish I had a backup camera for moments such as these. That trailer don't look too, they don't look too high. Looks perfect. We're gonna see how it goes. I probably will use my tarp. But anyway, I'll bring y'all back when we get on the road. And we are about to roll out. I'm very tempted to try and make that turn, but I don't think I can make it. Really tempted, but I just don't think I can make it. So I'm going to just line straight up with it and back through it. i tell you one thing. I need a daggum backup camera. Alright, I'm going to put y'all down for a second. Right here at the end. Don't want to knock nothing off here at the very end. Oh, for right. Alright, now we are going to get this bad boy backed into the woods here, getting turned around. We're gonna have to do another couple of turns because I don't want to screw up the yard too bad. <clears throat> all right, I know y'all getting all kinds of weird angles. Go back out here and I'm gonna pull my tarp over this before we get going down the road because there is some light looking stuff in there so I'm gonna pull my tarp over and we are gonna get back on the road all right let's get that tarp all right tarp went over fine first time using the tarp let's bring it back here to these hooks <clears throat> um, something that I probably would like to have in the future is bungee cord that way I can pull these tight on the uh, edges we'll see how it does without it may have to run to tractor supply and get some bungee cords but once you get it hooked back there all you do is crank down on this and it just works perfectly alright Ooh, AC feels good. Oh, we got a swig of Dr. Pepper left. We're gonna get a hit of that before we get on the road. Oh. Oh man, Dr. Pepper's where it's at, guys. Oh my goodness. Y'all, she made my day. My customer made my day. Said that she appreciated it so much. Said the people that she had used previous to me were super expensive, that communication was terrible, 
and that the process was overall aggravating. She said it has been a, this is a quote, a breeze to work with you. That's what we want, guys. That's what we want. She said she was going to give me a shout out on uh, uh, a local page here. So, hopefully good business to turn over more business. We're going to head down the road now. Pray that this dump will take this stuff and go from there. I'll bring y'all back whenever we get to the dump. Alright guys, moment of truth. sure if this is the place to be or what we are going to find out I don't know if this I'm not sure I don't even think there's nobody here and I'm not sure where this is supposed to be dumped at or not knock on the door and see. Nobody here. Except some poor mangy dogs. I see this over here. Last thing I want to do is dump this stuff where I ain't supposed to. Well, that's a pitiful animal. that I have is the same kind of stuff that's on the pile out here. So I assume you can dump there. So there ain't nobody here. Not sure what to do at all. So everywhere I was reading on the line, and everywhere any uh, can't even speak. Everybody that I asked said that you could come dump here, but I would really like to hear it from somebody here. We're going to do it, I guess. Because I don't have nothing in my trailer that's, just, that's on that list of things that can't be dumped. Damn. 
I'm sure if they want to get a hold of me, they can if there's any cameras around here. Because my number is plastered. All over. My trailer. I can do is what I know and ain't nobody told me different I'm gonna roll up my tarp here it's the first time I rolled up my tarp used my tarp so trying not to get it messed up on the first time you know what I'm saying One sec. All right, got that rolled up. Time to go up. Alright guys, we did get it dumped. That's Mr. Paul Kirby right there. I don't know him. Just met the man. Get my seatbelt on here. But he seemed like a real nice individual. He got one suspender looped around him. I pulled on top of him. He got a pistol in his pocket. Uh, he was telling me, he was being kind enough to tell me all the stuff I could bring up here to dump and that they would get it burned up or hauled off or something like that. I don't even know if that guy works it. Well, he told me he don't work here, so I don't know what he's doing up here burning stuff. Maybe he comes up here and helps out. I don't know. Uh, he was fun to talk to. Fun to talk to. Never know who you're going to run into here in the backwoods of Alabama. Some good people. Good people may seem a little standoffish you know walking up to somebody with a pistol hanging out of your pocket but he was nice to me so we're gonna take this to the next job it's already rented out for the next couple of days like I said earlier we're gonna see if we can make our way out of here. We're in the backwoods right now. It's going to take us a minute to get back to civilization. One thing I noticed up here, I ain't ever been down this road. I ain't ever been to this dump. One thing I noticed up here was uh, this bridge got some beaver issues. Maybe we can stop and take a look at it. Definitely got 
got some beaver problems and uh the gentleman back there was telling me that the owners on tens of thousands of acres he said he said you won't get them to pay anything to get that fixed oh man so you can already see the damage right there that they're causing bunch of water I saw the dam that they had built. So all that's water. They got a dam up here somewhere. All that was planted pine. Okay? All that was planted pine. You can see what the beavers are doing to it. I got them a little oasis up here. Alright, we're about to pull over for just a second and check this out. Right here in the middle of the road. Because it's a country road. Oh. That's a beaver dam, buddy. It's all that water. It's supposed to be going through that little bitty pipe right there. Washing the road out. Great day. <clears throat> anyway, I may see if I can get in touch with these people and see if they uh, need some beaver trapping done. I know they need it done. I don't know if they're willing to pay for it. You got to pay for it. Wow. All right, we're going to get back on the road and uh, get to the next customer. Okay. We're at the next customer. Got everything unhooked. We are. <clears throat> Good to go. Seven thirty. down here to the ball field and catch the last 30 minutes of my kids game I lost y'all well, connected to a uh, Bluetooth I'm gonna run watch the last bit of my kids game here and, uh, go rest up for tomorrow gonna be doing some more trapping tomorrow so, should be a good easy day uh, this part right here is gonna have the trailer I think for two days today is Monday so I'll pick the trailer up probably Thursday afternoon probably It'll be ready Wednesday, but I got a full day Wednesday, and I ain't gonna be here or be available to do it. So I'll probably pick it up Thursday afternoon, and then I'll have it for a day, and then it'll go out to the next customer that rented it for the weekend. So the trailer's getting plenty of work, guys. Plenty of work. I got a stop job I gotta get to. And a beaver trapping job, I gotta gotta start. Lots of work. But the cool thing about trailers, guys, the cool thing about trailers is all you gotta do is drop it off and pick it up. And then in some cases you gotta dump it like I did today, but you just charge for that. But trailers are making you money while you're not even there. That's the awesome thing about trailers. And it is great so I've got two in two one-day rentals okay two one-day rentals so that's two hundred dollars a piece right there and then I have two weekend rentals within the last seven days so the weekend rentals three days I charge 300 bucks 
for a, a three day or a weekend and then I have to charge something to dump it. <clears throat> so $300 for the weekend. $200 per day on single days. So what does that add up to? It's uh, six, four. So I'm charging a $50 dump fee right now because this one's so close. So times that, put that in there times two. So I'm actually, with the dumpster rentals this week, it's gonna be uh, $1,100. Of course, that's not, that's before fuel and all that, but that's just what the trailer itself is bringing in is 1100 bucks in seven days. While I'm out stuck grinding, trapping, pretty good guys, pretty good. But anyway, we're going to end it on that. Hope you all have enjoyed the video pretty cool seeing how the stump trailer is getting used getting busier so we'll pick it up later and uh, catch y'all on the next one so y'all be good